Although I was an economics major and later went to law school, one of my favorite undergraduate courses was actually a sociology course, and it was called The Marriage and the Family. I was fascinated by the dynamics of relationships within the family unit, particularly those between spouses. And almost 20 years later, I'm still amazed to find that this sociology class was one of the most beneficial fields of study for my practice. Now, the demographics of marriage in this country have changed significantly over the generations. In fact, in 2022, the average age of marriage in the United States was 31 years old. And we're seeing this because of societal factors, behavioral norms, and focusing on education and career. So an area that I'm quite interested in is learning more about how different families come together, spouses, when they form a union, and what options exist as it relates to their finances. So in this video series, I'm going to discuss three options with you. The first option is to merge finances. So in this option, we'll talk about what happens when two spouses come together and they want to merge their entire pool of financial assets. In the second option, we'll discuss keeping those assets separate, the financial implications of doing so. And third, a hybrid option. Now, a common theme that you'll see we discussed throughout these three options is protection of non-marital assets. And of course, you want to chat with a qualified estate and family law attorney if you do come to a union with significant resources to make sure that if it is important to you, those non-marital or premarital assets are appropriately protected. So that's going to be a discussion topic that we'll look at throughout these three options. I hope you'll join me soon.